it, when I look at a lot of the different experiences, uh, I felt that, you know, volunteering is more of a give and take. So, uh, you know, not only as you, the volunteer, are, you know, committing yourself to uh, helping out, but you're also gaining, you're gaining something from, uh, from that event or from the person that you are, you know, committing your time to. It's very much like a mentorship, if, if, uh, if I can call it that, where, you know, I'm committing a lot of myself to, uh, to, to, to something or an event, and then I'm, I'm learning something, um, you know, um, on the back end of that. So it's more of a give and take is what I found uh, when you're volunteering. I'm always learning something new. My value to the university now is really convincing uh, graduates, sorry, not graduates, but those who are looking to do their undergrad or, or master's at the business school. Yeah. So if they're on the fence, um, oftentimes, at least statistically, most students who are coming from uh, outside the Northeast, they usually have Newcastle University ranked like number two, uh, sometimes yeah. number three. It's not their first choice, unfortunately. Um, so they, what they usually do is bring in some of their alumni to kind of help them persuade uh, so I, I've done quite a bit of that. I've successfully convinced a number of students who were considering LSE over Newcastle. They've chose Newcastle due to alumni recommendation. Over the last, uh, I would say, eight years, um, I've done quite a bit of volunteering, um, both within Central University as well as with the business school. Uh, some key highlights that comes to mind would be me hosting, or at least me being the MC for a Dragon's Den pitch competition at the business school. So um, I was invited to essentially MC the events and uh, you know introduce the judges as well as to kind of uh, be be the guy, if you will, uh, that runs runs that event at the business school. So that's been really great. Um, it gave me an opportunity to meet a number of uh, of uh, students who were pitching their business concept at the time. And um, it allowed me also, also to expand my network because there were a notable, there were some alumni that were there as well. Um, you know, pitch competitions like Dragon's Den, as well as, uh, you know, kind of being a mentor for a number of different students. Um, quite often, I had a really great relationship with Career Services. So uh, Gareth Trainer, um, who uh, was the guy and likely still is the guy at, uh, at King's Gate, um, has invited me a number of times to, uh, to lecture and mentor uh, students who um, were trying to get their business off the ground. Um, also, the, the visa scheme has been something that um, I've also kind of been brought in to, to help students who are applying for a tier one graduate entrepreneur visa. I played American football uh, for Newcastle Raiders. Yeah. So um, for the one or two seasons preceding after I played, I was able to uh, come back and, and coach some of the positional players uh, in the quarterback position, as well as, um, you know, just kind of being a general mentor for the students who were coming up behind me. I thought for me, that was really, really cool because, um, you know, even now I still get, you know, kind of like, thank you, Doug, Coach Jones or Coach DJ. Thank you very much for, you know, kind of you being able to help me out because, you know, some of the players, some of the students, uh, we're going through, you know, whatever things that they were going through from an educational point of view, for a personal point of view. For me, that was really rewarding. Yeah. Um, I guess it's worth mentioning that um, I started my my postgrad at 28. So I guess in the UK, that's classed as a mature student. Yeah. So when I started Newcastle as a mature student and, and, and also decided to play a sport, I was one of the oldest guys, not just on the team, but I was older than some of the coaches. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So... So I was very much a father figure, um, you know, not just as a player, but also coming back as a volunteer to coach the students. So for me, I felt that was very rewarding um, and um, kind of a kind of a, a, a life changing kind of thing as well. Just being able to bond with some of the players uh, who were coming after me. Everyone who's got the privilege to to have been admitted uh, at Newcastle University as a student, as, an, as a graduate, um, volunteer because you know your time at the university certainly um, will impact you in some way you know whether or not it allows you to land a job or you know you uh, find a significant other uh, there are many 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 different touch points uh, that that you're going to you know come in contact with at Newcastle Uni so 
for me, it's never too early, never too late to volunteer. Uh, you never know, um, you know, what you can glean from from spending your time uh, doing that. And I, I think most importantly, uh, I, I feel that, you know, it's the, it's the right thing to do. When I was a student at Newcastle Uni, I didn't have many different role models to to rely on. And I think some of the key challenges now, especially with COVID, the pandemic, there's so many, there's so much uncertainty that's happening in the world today. And, you know, granted, you know, the university, you know, are able to make counselors available, you know, for, um, you know, for mental health and so forth. But for some reason, students love to get advice from other students who've done it before. Yeah. It's, it's great if you have someone who's on the Newcastle Uni payroll who's advising a student, but it's just something different about, you know, connecting with someone who's done it, right? right? You know, like, so yeah. I think for me, if you've, if you've done it, you've gone through it, you've been able to, you know, be part of a society uh, or your student faculty representative, uh, you played a sport, um, you know, or, you know, you did, you did something that you've been proud of, by all means, you know, once you decide to walk that stage and you're getting your diploma, give back, you know, give back. It's, it's, it's almost a fundamental right.